Chilling new details about the man accused of opening fire at the Naval Station in Pensacola, Florida. The FBI has identified him as 21-year-old Mohammed El Shamrani, a second lieutenant in the Royal Saudi Air Force. A U.S. official told the Associated Press El Shamrani invited three fellow Saudi flight students to dinner last week and showed them videos of mass shootings. The FBI will not confirm that report. The defense secretary says one student at that dinner did record video outside the building when the shooting happened. Officials have not found a direct link to a terrorist group, but they're still investigating. We are, as we do in most active shooter investigations, work with the presumption that this was an act of terrorism. Our investigation has not led us to any information that indicates that there is any credible threat to our community. Authorities are investigating if tweets posted hours before the shooting, critical of U.S. support of Israel and claiming America's anti-Islam, belong to El Shamrani. He is one of more than 5,000 foreign students from 153 countries in the U.S. for military training. U.S. President Donald Trump says he will look into policies governing foreign military training in the U.S. I guess we're going to have to look into the whole procedure. We'll start that immediately. Weapons are restricted on bases. Authorities say El Shamrani purchased his handgun, typically illegal for non-citizens, through a loophole because he already had a hunting license. After the killings, El Shamrani was shot dead by police. Authorities have released pictures of all three victims, including 23-year-old Ensign Joshua Watson, who authorities say was shot several times but still managed to direct first responders to the gunman's location, preventing more carnage. The defense secretary says safety measures at American military bases are now under review. To make sure that we've got the appropriate uh, degree of security to protect our uh, service members and their families. The murders in Florida come at an already tense time in U.S.-Saudi relations following the Saudi role in the 2018 slaying of Jamal Khashoggi, a Washington Post journalist and U.S. citizen. Robin? Jennifer Johnson in Washington.